What's up, you guys? Let's read some more energy. Please don't forget to like and subscribe. And um, let's just dive right into it. We're going to start with the energy oracle cards. We have woman holding a heart. We have a broken heart. Of course, that's why she's holding her heart, because it's broken. Contract. There may have been a soul contract. Action. Karmic justice was called in. Hmm. Happy family. Happy endings. Yin and yang. There's a twin flame union. Okay, that's very cool. And with the happy family, sometimes in these soul contracts, having children is part of that soul contract. So, take what resonates. But, you know, like having um, little light, light babies, little disciples of peace to, you know, infiltrate the world, make it a better place. Um... We've also got the garden and the gate. So um, let's just pull some tarot cards and um, clarify a little bit further what's going on. Definitely feel like this is a divine feminine, though. Um, who is highly empathic and who is aligning with their purpose. All right, we've got the Six of Pentacles here. The Six of Pentacles, to me, is a card of aligning with your purpose. It's making money and it's giving that money. It's, it's a constant flow of receiving and giving, receiving and giving. Um, the Queen of Cups is somebody who is highly empathic, all right? And this Queen of Cups, I am not joking, you guys. She does not look happy. Look at her. She's like mean mugging, like so bad. I feel like there was a soul contract that has ended, and, and this is very good. But I do feel like the Divine Feminine's heart is a little bit broken. And um, there is some healing that needs to happen, okay? Yeah, she was dealing with somebody who had a victim mentality, probably a narcissist. Somebody who was not emotionally fulfilled, but, but looked to her for emotional fulfillment. I feel like the Divine Feminine has just come out of this, like, fog. This karmic fog, so to speak, has been lifted. Sorry, you guys. I'm like, listening to music on my phone and kind of distracting. But she's ready to create. She's ready to um, start manifesting her best life, all right? Yeah, much stronger too. No more ten no more ten of swords, alright? I feel like all of that backstabbing is in the past. You're you're going through a huge glow up here. This is beautiful energy. No more broken hearts. Alright? That shit is in the past. The Empress, what did I say? Somebody wants to have babies with you, Divine Feminine. Or somebody's supposed to have babies with you. Maybe you're you you're you know, maybe that's part of your soul contract. These little babies are supposed to be coming through. Mm-hmm. So basically, um, someone was trying to keep you in a cycle. Okay, we've got the judgment card here. We've got the chariot in the reverse position. We've also got um, the fool. And I just feel like there's movement forward um, that's happening. And I do feel like you are being divinely guided and you are also being divinely protected. And if anybody tries to fuck with you, like a third party or something like that, I mean... Their money could be gone, and they could get in a car accident. It's the it's the same it's the same shit. Um, so just um, like keep glowing up. There is hope. Whatever whatever you've been going through, there is hope around the corner. Um, you have a silent strength about you. Okay. Um, even if people don't think that you're strong. You know how strong you are, okay? And don't forget that, all right? That's what I'm hearing. We've got the Two of Cups. There's definitely a divine union. I mean... Like... Let's keep pulling some cards. I just saw um, the Five of Cups in the in, at the bottom of the deck. That's definitely a psychic vampire. So watch out for anyone in your life who is just emotionally draining because you have this, this divine union that you're trying to come into and you want to be able to be emotionally stable enough and... Um, I have to turn this off. I'm sorry, you guys. Um, you have to be emotionally... You have to be emotionally in a good place in order to make any relationship work. Okay, is the message that I'm receiving. Um, there's something else though. Um, 
If there is a situation that you are in that is keeping your frequency low, you might just want to get, just, I mean, get the fuck out. Like, um, if you can, or at least just take space to focus on your own light, okay? Um, the vibe that I'm getting here is that whatever situation you were in, it really lowered your frequency a lot. And um, you need to get your frequency back up. Um, into a place of love, okay? So a lot of the things that happen to us um, take what resonates, but it's it's not meant to close the heart. It's meant to um, sharpen the mind, okay? So um, in, in order to open our heart back up, we have to, you know, accept those experiences um, with love and forgive ourselves for um, basically letting ourselves go through the experience that we went through, okay? And then we can look at the situation objectively and we can learn the lesson, all right? And that, that shifts the perspective on everything and that also um, shifts the perspective on, you know, like oneself and it allows um, us to, you know, ascend into a higher, a higher frequency, a higher state of being, a higher consciousness, okay? What else, Spirit? Anything else? Mm -hmm. I feel like the Divine Masculine really m misses you a lot. Um, and I've also got the uh, Two of Wands here. It is in the reverse position. I feel like there has been some telepathic communication between the twins, um, but there has also been some um, like astral info infiltration, so to speak, from a uh, lower dimensional being. So amethyst is really good at protecting the third eye um, during sleep states. So, um, you know, I have that in my Etsy shop. I'll leave a link in the description box for that. Um, but also covering your third eye, you know, you can wear a hat like this um, or like a bonnet. Um, and but just keeping your frequency high, okay, where where those those frequencies can't touch you. Yeah, this is my psychic vampire card, okay. Um, also dark empath card. It's somebody who um, creates, who kind of keeps you at a lower frequency and creates emotional attachments. Usually negative emotional attachments, but then might come in and like love bomb you or try to trauma bond with you in order to then create an attachment to, to draw energy from the sacral chakra, which then draws energy from the solar plexus chakra, our willpower. So it also causes us to, you know, feel a little depressed and down. So, um, but I feel like the Divine Feminine is coming out of this, though. Mm hmm Yeah. You're, you're, you're moving up, you're moving forward and into a more positive place of being. And this is a beautiful reading. And, and now you are the Queen of Swords too. And the Queen of Swords to me is, is a divine channel. She's got the Sword of Truth here. She's also a hard ass. Like, I don't know how else to say it, but like, she has been through it. You know what I mean? She does not tolerate a lot. And, um, and she has the stories and the wisdom and the truth to um, channel. And I feel like that's what, what you are doing and that's what your purpose. You just had some interference, but um, it's being taken care of, okay? You're being divinely guided out of the situation and um, and spirit is protecting you. Yeah, there was third party interference. Mm-hmm. You have the king of pentacles here. There might be um, like some earth energy here. Um, yeah, and the King of Pentacles is also somebody who um, who is um, also, again, I think I, I pulled the Six of Pentacles, somebody who is, like, the King of Pentacles to me is like the Six of Pentacles on fleek, okay? It's like, it's like you are in alignment with your path and you are in this flow of receiving and giving, receiving and giving, but like the King of Pentacles is like more established. He's kind of like... Like he's made it and he has so much that he, he can just he can just give, okay? Whereas like the Six of Pentacles to me is kind of like aligning with that path. But um, we've also got the Ten of Pentacles here, so um, there is a happy home in the future. Um, just keep your heart open and keep healing. Uh, the Sacral Chakra is associated with our emotions. Um, so maybe some carnelian will help with that. I have that in my Etsy shop. I will list that, um, I will, I will put a link for that in the description box below as well. 
and um, to help remove fear, uh, you go outside. Um, air is associated with the heart chakra. Breathe in through the, through the nose, you know, get some good oxygen, hold it for five seconds. <sighs> Breathe out through the mouth. You know, that, that helps oxygenate the blood and just get everything flowing and detoxing and, and moving. Yeah, I feel like the Divine Feminine is just feeling a little insecure right now, but you are so protected, okay? You're so protected, and this is destiny, so everything's going to be all right, okay? This is a beautiful reading. I'm so, I love it. I love it, I love it, I love it. All right, I hope that you guys are doing so amazing, and um, don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'm sending you so much love. All right, until next time, you guys. Bye.